Welcome to this video, which is going to be a simple introduction and overview of WordPress, how to build websites, um, how to use page builders like Elementor, um, how to use themes, how to use templates, and just basically everything surrounding the WordPress universe. Okay, so I just want to talk for a few minutes. Um, you can skip ahead in the video if you want to learn how to build right away. Um, I just want to give just speak for a few minutes of why I'm making this video. So if you're new to my channel and you took a little look around, you may notice that my channel is just full of music that I make and other videos, um, nothing to do with WordPress at all. Um, I will probably not be making more videos about WordPress. This is just going to be like a two or three part video series on WordPress because I do build websites on WordPress. It's one of my side jobs that I do. I've been building websites for the, for the last three years and obviously really increased during the pandemic now because a lot of people needed websites. And um, I recently gave a course in, my, in the community where I live um, to a few people on how to build websites. So I thought that I'm making a review video anyway for them, for the whole entire course. I thought that I would share it with the public as well. Um, if, you know, for people who are learning, who want to learn how to build websites and learn how to use WordPress, um, you know, there's a lot out there and you never really know like where to start. That was, I think, one of the first things that took me a while to get into is like, where do you start even, you know, like, how do you even start? There's just so much information out there. And where do you start from? Like, what are the basics? What do you need? Um, and I'm self-taught, so I've been around the block and uh, I can, you know, just just basically share what I know. Um, so. What we're going to start doing now is we're just going to learn a little bit about what WordPress is, and then we're going to launch a fresh WordPress installation on a local server. And um, that's what we're going to do. So first thing is, is when you want to build a WordPress site, right? Let's say like you're just a newbie and you don't know anything and you go to WordPress, you know, whatever. You go to the WordPress website. First of all, guys, sorry, I have a little stutter. Sometimes, sometimes I can't say words and I freeze up a little bit. So if I just like stop talking for a second, that's just there. But it's no big deal. Okay. So you go on the WordPress website and you learn about WordPress as an open source software that you can use to create a beautiful website, blog, or app, right? It's awesome. It really is. It's the best thing in the whole entire world if you know how to use it. It's really, it's really, really amazing what WordPress can do and that it's free. Okay. WordPress is free. The application itself is free. There are themes and there are plugins and there are things like that um, that may cost some money in the future depending on what you need, but you can build world world class websites and sell and build full you know e commerce shops and everything without spending a dime on any expensive themes um, or plugins. The only thing that you do need to pay for is hosting and a name for your website, a domain name. Okay, we're gonna get into that later, All right? So again, if you're if you're a newbie, like I was a few a few years ago, you go on this website and you're like, okay, great, like w WordPress is cool, but like, okay, so now I'm gonna get WordPress, like, you know, but you download it and then what do you do, right? So the easiest way is to go through a hosting provider, but sometimes some people will prefer to download it and uh, themselves, right? So you can get WordPress hosting today if you want to do that which means that if you want to have a website on the internet, you need to have it hosted on a server that people can type in your name into their browser and your website will show up. If you do not have a hosting account, your website will not show up, right? But maybe today we do not want to do that, right? You see they have a download button, download WordPress, the latest version, 5.82, okay? And everything like that, but we want to skip that because a lot of videos start off like that and uh, you know maybe not everybody wants to pay for it. So what we're gonna do is we are going to use something free which is called Local by Flywheel, okay? Um, I was using this thing, Jurassic Ninja, in my class that I was teaching which was totally free and like the simplest thing ever. You just would press create and you would have a fresh WordPress installation in about a minute and you could start learning. But for something changed in the last two weeks, I have no idea what and now you need a special account, and I don't really know what's going on. So we are going to use something called local by flywheel. Let's go to local by the local by flywheel. Oops, nope, local by flu, pandemic. Local WordPress development made simple, okay? So we're gonna use this basically just to create a practice site. So you need to download it. You can create an account and download it. 
go through the whole entire registration, and eventually you will get to a screen that looks like this, the hub.localwp.com, okay? I'm just trying to move quickly over here, right? And um, we are going to open local, which is here. Uh, where's my local? Oh, see, it's opening up right now, okay? And I already um, started a site, but I want to start a fresh one. Uh, because I want to show you guys what to do over here. So you would have a button that just says add site. I already built one site and then my computer crashed in the middle for some reason. So I am going to just press on the plus sign over here and it's going to say, what is your site's name? Okay. So again, this is not going to be your main website. So it could just be anything. It could be, um, we're going to call this one, uh, overview 23. Okay. Overview 23. You can name it anything you want continue we are going to choose the preferred installation the back end software server stuff we don't even need to know about that continue and then you're going to have to choose a wordpress username and a wordpress password and this is what you will use to log into this practice site um, in the future as you go through these videos if you don't want to do it all at one time so i'm just going to call it k village uh, 10 and my wordpress password will be my wordpress password i'm not going to tell you and then you just press add site and i hope it doesn't crash again because it crashed before this thing does take a lot of i don't know it takes a lot of stuff but basically it says um let's just make a change here on the computer and it says installing wordpress adding wordpress and you know again installing wordpress and opening wordpress and now we have a this screen over here still we're still not at WordPress. Where are we now? If we So now a WordPress site was created for us. A local site was created for us. And we have a website. Let's open it up and see what it looks like. It does not look very good. Okay, what is this? This is a WordPress website, but obviously without a lot going on. So we're going to discuss what this all means. Okay, so we need to go back to there, sorry. And we need to go to our admin, right? Our administrator panel or admin for short, the WordPress admin. And we are going to click on that. And now it opens up into your WordPress login screen, right? When you will be building websites, hopefully in the future, you will see a lot of these screens. Um, you can customize the screen. Uh, there are uh, different styles and everything, but whatever. It's very basic. This is how you get into the back end of WordPress, okay? So we have to remember what we made our username and our password. Type that in. Follow along. You log in, and now we are finally at the WordPress, in the back end of WordPress, at the at the WordPress, te, uh, at the WordPress. See, I can't even say it. <laughs> um, at the at the at the dashboard. Okay, sorry, I know stuttering. It's weird. Anyway, um, this is the back end of WordPress, and this is everything that you need to build a website is here. Boom. Obviously, it doesn't really look like that, but everything that you will basically need to build a, a website is here. You just have to learn how to find that and everything like that, right? So basically, let's start off with um, going through this left panel over here. The most important thing about your WordPress is not this screen here. This is just a lot of stuff that you don't really need. There's videos on how to remove all this stuff, but we're not even going to get into that right now. First thing we want to do is we want to open up our site. See, on top over here is your site name. You hover over it, and it says Visit Site. I like to open it up in a new tab, and you have your website open in one tab. And then you have the dashboard open in another tab, right, so that you can just quickly switch back and forth when you make a change in the dashboard or in the customizer, which we'll see soon. You can just keep on going back and forth, back and forth, right? Easy workflow. That's what you want to do. And as you go into WordPress more, you'll see you'll develop your own little workflow, which is great, right? So what is going on over here, right? Let's go to appearance, right? Where obviously we want to change how our website looks, right? We want to build a website. Appearance, and let's hover over appearance, and we're going to go to something called themes, right? So what is a WordPress theme? WordPress is a software again, and the way that it shows itself on the internet, this is the best way that I can explain it. I don't know everything, like, you know, all these little details and everything like that. But the way that, that I basically um, explained it in my class was that WordPress is just like a lot of code in a software, right? And what it's doing is that it's pushing code out and it's showing you a website, but it needs 
like something to show. I mean, like you know, like the WordPress is basically like the inside of your body, and like the theme is like the skin. It's like a skin. If you played video games, you know what a skin is. You have you you have different themes, right? And WordPress develops their own themes every year. You see, they have 2020, 2019. They've been doing that for the last I don't know eight nine years or whatever. And they're very very basic themes. Um, your general WordPress installation will always come with the latest WordPress theme installed, which is 2021. Uh, right now, it's the end of 2021. they will probably eventually release one for 2022. But they're not, I mean, they're very, very basic themes. You can customize them and you can build simple blogs, but we are not going to use that. We are going to add a new theme. So like many things on WordPress, whether it's a plugin or anything like that, there's always going to be this little add new button on many of these pages, which we'll see soon. We want to go to add new. Okay. We want to choose a theme now, right? So again, if you're new and you're like, whoa, dude, there's a million themes over here. Like, what do I do with all these themes? How do I control these themes? What is going on over here? Right. And the basically that's why I'm giving this thing over is like I'm going to show you what themes are the best, what themes are popular right now, and how to use them um, in the best way, uh, you know, in the best way possible so that you don't waste time going through a million different themes. You see here is the 2013 theme. Look at look at what it looked like in 2013. You know, it's crazy stuff, right? This one looks like more like a store theme. There's many, many themes to choose from. But basically today, a lot of people like using very, very beer bones themes, right? A lot of themes back in the day would give you certain options to customize. You didn't have so many um, options. Whatever the theme gave you, that's basically what you did if you didn't know how to code. The theme would give you a certain amount of options to customize it and that would be it but now in the last few years page builders like elementor and uh brizzy builder and and other things have gotten very very like that's basically what everybody uses to build websites and and um people are using like these beer bones theme right like these this one ocean wp and astra are the are the are the, are the two themes that we're going to be focused on okay and sorry and what i mean is, is that again like there's this whole like level of basically you have your hosting and on your hosting you now have a wordpress installation on the wordpress installation you now have a theme so that your wordpress installation can show up as something except for code and then you want to change that theme to something else which will what we are going to do right now is we are going to choose a theme called ocean wordpress the wp stands for wordpress okay it's a really cool thing you can click on it details and preview you can see that it has five stars five thousand and fifty two ratings it's a great theme you can build a shop with it here it doesn't look so great though right you see that again it doesn't really look that great because we have to customize it so let's x out let us install this new thing over here right you all you got to do is press install and it takes a second more than a second but yeah and then uh, like many things again in wordpress you're going to come across this after you install something you also have to activate it right right now we have 2021 activated we are now going to take away 2021 we're going to activate it and by activating this theme 2021 becomes unactivated right um it's always good to leave you don't have to leave all three but it's always good to have one backup theme in case your main theme that's active breaks I meaning sometimes uh you know your themes get updates from the from the from the from the people who made the theme the creators whatever the developers sometimes it will crash which rarely happens but sometimes you want to have a theme that something should fall back onto right so you always want to have one theme that's active and one theme that's just installed you know just in case something happens to your main theme right so now what happens this if we refreshed our website we now have another website but again doesn't really look that great like what's going on over here like why so again like i said this is a very very beer bones theme okay and your job now is to learn how to customize this beer bones theme and there's a few ways to do that you can do that by using elementor which is a which is a page builder but we are going to use elementor with that other theme i was talking about called astra and this first you know part of the video we're going to be learning how to build a simple blog site with just Ocean WP, no page builder at all. We're going to use their options, and you're going to see how easy it is to start playing around with this whole thing and making it look normal. Okay, so 
there are two ways to get to the WordPress customizer, which is every single thing that you're going to install is going is going to, is basically going to come with certain options that you will have to do with the theme. And the way to access this customizer is either on your website page over here, you can click on customize, but I don't want to do that because I want to see my website again in this tab, like I mentioned before. So you can just go to appearance again. So we have our theme. Now we're going to move on to the next thing, which is called customize. We're going to open up the WordPress customizer. Okay. And again, now when you open up your WordPress customizer, you're always going to see certain options here. Depending on the theme you use, you're going to have different options, right? There's certain themes that give you more options than others. There's also pro themes that cost money that give you certain options and others. With page builders, you don't really need all these things, but there's certain things that you need to do in the customizer. And then there's also certain things that you need to do in the page builder. Depending on what page builder you're using and all these different things, you won't be able to control certain things on the page. Um, with the page builder, you'll only be able to control with the customizer. So we're going to learn all these things. It's It gets confusing. It's a little bit, it sounds, I mean, sorry, it sounds confusing, but it's really not. It's really simple. Let us start playing around with this site. Okay, so we have all these things over here. And, and, um, and, um, you know, we want to learn what's going on over here, right? So first thing is let's work from our way top to bottom over here. I'm just trying to remember what I did in class, right? This is basically showing a blog post, hello world, the person who made it, which is me, December 19, 2021, which when it was, which is when I'm making this video and it has the thing, continue reading. And this is your blog page right now. If you made your blog page like this, people would go on your site and they would run away from your site because it just doesn't look normal and doesn't look exciting and it looks really weird and bad. So you want to make the site look good. So how do you start this off? First of all, we have this top bar over here, right? Where it says, place your content here, right? We don't want that top bar. I don't like it. We don't really need it. Sometimes you would go on a website, people will have their phone numbers of their email or their social media icons. We're not going to use the top bar right now. So how do I get rid of the, of the top bar? So you start looking around in here where things are, right? So there's different parts of a website. Um, if you're new to building websites, let's take a look at a simple website over here. Um, um, what's a simple website? Let's go to a website that I built called My Kosher Fish, right? It's a, for a fish company that sells kosher fish. Um, this is a website that I built with Ocean WP theme. Okay, just so you can see, like, you know, things look more normal on here. But I just want to show you, like, what a header is. So this is basically your header up here where your menu is, your header menu, and then your header, like, image, like your first big image that, like, captures people's, you know, attention when you come. Um, and then you have your content, which is like the body of the website. You know, you have your content on the front page, and then you have something called the footer on the bottom, right? So if you go back to our website over here, we have a header up here. We have also a top bar, which we don't want, and we have a footer down here, which is empty. Okay, so we have to start learning how to play with all these things. So if you wanted to get to this top bar, you would probably look in your header. And let's see. Oops. You don't even need to look in your header. Sorry, I'm an idiot. It's actually right here, top bar. Your top bar has its own little section, which is really nice. Um, but that doesn't exclude anything. I just learned and taught you about headers and footers. But we're going to go to the top bar. And we're going to go to general, which is the settings. And you see over here, it says enable the top bar. And we don't want that. So we're just going to uncheck it. And now the website's going to refresh for a second. And you can click on publish. It's good to look on. It's, good, it's always good after you make a change to click on publish. Go back to your site. You see that the black part over here of this WordPress thing because you're logged in is blocking the top bar. But you can see a little bit of the top bar over here. If I click on that and I go like that, the top bar is gone. Okay. So we now have our top bar gone and we have somewhere over here to put our header menu and a picture over here to make our site look like a little bit more exciting. Okay. Um, so let's now go back to where we are okay so we have our header let me just go through again um of what i am looking for over here header media no we're not going to do header media we want to do where do we want to go again i forgot where i want to go this is part i always get like confused at page title 
page title. Why am I so confused? This is like, it's really like the simplest thing in the whole entire world. I always get like so confused. General styling. Just give me one minute, guys. <laughs> this doesn't look uh, very, very professional, huh? Um, okay. So on this theme, we have our page title, which is the, just another WordPress site over here, okay? And we now want to see, it says over here, it took a while to find it, I'm sorry, but uh, you have different styles over here. We can have a background image, right, which is nice, okay? So now it popped up, and you now have this, like, kind of big screen over here, which is nice, right, but the color is black, and we want to get an image, right? So... Let's go to select image. And we have no images in our media library. This is a very important screen. You're gonna see the screen a lot. This is how you upload images. Okay, so let's let, let's look how to find images on the web on the internet, right? So I like to use a website called Unsplash. Okay, Unsplash is millions of free images. Amazing images over here. Okay, you can just scroll through all these, right? We don't want something that's um, we're looking at our website again. We're looking at this section. This is more of a horizontal thing. You don't want it to be too big. So a lot of these pictures that are very tall and vertical, we're not going to really look for that. So what type of blog are we building? Whatever you're building, obviously, if you're a baker or a little restaurant, you'd use a picture like that or something like that. You know, whatever. I don't know, a uh, meeting or something like that. But we're just going to use like, you know, we're going to be building like a nature type blog or something. So let's just type in nature. Sorry. And... I like this first picture. You know what? Actually, let's use this picture over here, okay? So you click on the picture and you see, okay, this is a nice picture. Not too much going on. It'll be a nice little background, okay? Now, if you just if you just click on download, it's going to download the biggest um, version of this picture, which we don't need. Every single time that you upload a picture to WordPress, that takes up space and that slows your site down, right? That's one of the main things that people try to do today is get a very, very fast, clean site because... They want people to not leave their site as the page is loading. Right? If your page loads for more than three seconds, people just bounce out and they're not going to stay on your site. So you want to hit this arrow and you see that you can download, you know, the large one, the original size is huge. The large is good. The small one is a little too small. This is 1920 by 1280 pixels. That's a good size. We download it and it's right here at the bottom. Okay. Now we go back to our customizer where we, are, we were open and we press select image. Now you could either press select files, select files and go to your downloads. Or you can just drag your picture like that. And now your picture is uploaded in the WordPress library. Not that big. Choose image. And now your image is in the back. Right? You have an image in the back of your page title, which is nice. Except that we don't see that bridge, okay? Because now WordPress gives you options over here on where to move your image around, right? So the image is now in the position of top center. I don't want top center. I want center center. And now it moves to there. And now you see that you have your um, picture over here, which is awesome. All right, we're going to learn how to change this, obviously. Um, and the site is the cover, right? You contain is something else that you do like that. We like to have cover, it covers the whole space that it gave us and it shows there in the background, okay? Um, we can change the height of this. Actually, we can't change the height for some reason. Okay, whatever. And and you see that there is an you see that there's an overlay so that your text can show a little bit clearer if we make it really dark. Why isn't it oh okay there you go. It is doing something. If I go like that it's a little too light. So let's go like that. And you can change the overlay color, obviously. You can make it orange like that, but that doesn't really look pretty. So, you know, you can play around with all these options. That's part of WordPress is playing around with these options and exploring and everything like that. I guess if I did that, maybe... Oh, okay, so the height is working. Sorry, I just took a second. So that's pretty tall. I mean, if we're just doing a blog site, you can make it smaller. You can do like that. I like that 400 size. 400 pixels is a nice minimum size over there, right? You can also type it in. You can do 40. That's really small. Let's do 400, okay? So that's cool, right? We have this nice little um, 
header image called a hero image in some places and it says just another WordPress site right so how would I change this um, this uh, just another WordPress site I would go to my site identity which is your site title and a tagline okay your site title is over here overview 23 which is also a link anybody can click on it will return to your home page um, but this is the tagline just another WordPress site I don't want to call it just another WordPress site I want to call it welcome to nature that should change that nope did not change that why didn't it change it maybe it will change it if I publish it let me see oh it did change it okay so sometimes it's just the the customizer doesn't always show everything right away so you see I published it and I went back to my website and I refreshed the page now we have this beautiful looking welcome to nature right this is really cool um, let me take a short break and we are going to get back into it in a few minutes everybody sorry for that little break over there um, so we're back now and let us see what we did we now have our uh, front page of our blog basically this is what users will see so far but we want to obviously improve that um, so we now want to learn how to add posts to your blog right you're going to be a blogger you're going to be writing content so let us learn how to add posts and let's start playing around with that so we want to go back to the dashboard and again on your left so we have something called posts and we have pages so right now we're going to be working with posts let's hover over it as usual and click on all posts and as you see right now we have one post that wordpress made for us called hello world i would like to add our first post a new one let us call it add new so we call so we so now we click on add new and now here is where we need to talk about a few things so this is basically a text editor over here so as the page builders like we spoke about before got very very popular um, wordpress also developed their own page builder called gutenberg and it's a topic for a lot of conversation people some people like it some people don't there used to be a classic editor which everybody was used to on wordpress for many many years and then all of a sudden they change it and um they you know you have to learn this new how to use this new uh system over here and uh we could learn how to use it there's like i said a million videos on how to use gutenberg but i prefer to use the old um format so what we're going to do is we're going to just go back for a second we're going to click on wordpress and go back to the dashboard and we are going to install our first plugin so again everything like i said is over here on the is is on the left side let's scroll down to plugins let's click on plugins okay now it's going to take us to installed plugins no plugins are installed because we are running a practice site generally when you do a real wordpress site through a hosting company um, usually they will include a few plugins like obviously free ones uh, plugins that will help your site connect to their hosting you know image compression things like that but right now we have absolutely no plugins installed which is nice because sometimes you don't need any plugins the first plugin we're going to install is we we want to get back that original um i guess the editor to make a post simple so you click on add new again like up there is there's always the add new button and boom right away we see the classic editor plugin right this is the plugin uh depository where you see millions there's millions of plugins over here and they show you like the first ones that are you know pretty you know the, the the ones that a lot of people use um you'll see like on each box it basically says last updated it's always good when you're looking for a plugin in general to always look for plugins that are updated you know every few months that the that the people who made the plugins are still taking care of the plugin especially if it's very very vital for your site this is obviously one of the most used plugins so there's people who are always going to be fixing it um it also has compatible with your version of WordPress, which is important to know, and it has 5 million active installations. That means that a lot of people are, all, are using it, and it's good. So we are now going to install it. So how do you do it? Again, you just click on Install Now and Installing. 
and activate. And now our plugin is activated. Okay, so this plugin is just going to do something in the back end. And then when we click on posts and add new, we are now going to have this screen. This is the original um, uh, WordPress editor for posts. Very, very simple. You have your title and you have your place where you put your text. And this is actually how people would build, you know, pages before you, like with these, you know, with the customizer and different things like that, you know, certain teams would add more options here. But right now, this is just a simple template, a simple way to add in your post, right? So we are a nature blog. So let's, uh, our first post is going to be um, uh, a guide to hiking. Okay, so you just type it in up there. Okay, and now we have a text editor. I'm sure a lot of people who are watching this video have used a text editor before. You know, you have bold and you have a place to insert links, center text, and things like that. You can also get more options when you click on the toolbar toggle and you can have a bunch of things over here. Now, I'm not going to start typing a whole entire post right now, but we do want to fill up our blog so we can start playing around with it. So we're going to use something called lorem ipsum. Lorem ipsum text is a basically you just type in lorem ipsum and then you go to a website called lipsum and what is lorem ipsum lorem ipsum is simply a dummy text of the printing and typesetting industry basically it's it's not real words it's just like gibberish but they would use it to you know see how things uh, worked and today programmers and web developers and people still use it as placeholder text so we're just going to do that so you can scroll down over here and it says how many paragraphs do you want or how many words do you want? We want five paragraphs to fill up our blog. So let's we just do that and we click on generate lorem ipsum and it gives us five paragraphs. And now we can copy these five paragraphs and we can put it into our post. Really cool, right? Simple. I'm saying obviously you see all the red because just mistakes, it's not a real words. Okay. So before we do anything like that, um, let's hit publish for a second. Okay, and now we can right click on view post and we have our first post. Okay, there's a lot going on over here that we need to fix. Um, but if we go back to our front page by clicking that, we now see that we have the hello world post and now we have the guide to hiking post over here. Okay, and that's our first post. Let's gonna we're gonna go let's go to the dashboard for a second because we don't need that. I have the site open up over here. Let's delete the hello world post. Let's go to our posts, all posts, and let's trash it because we don't need that. Okay, and now just refresh, and we'll see we only have one post on the front page. Okay, now I we can make a few more just to fill up the front page, but let's now I want to talk about a few things in the edit post. Okay, so obviously you've all used um, um, word processors before and Gmail and email, so. A lot of these things are very, very simple. So obviously, if you would want to center one paragraph of the text, you know, you can center one paragraph. You don't have to center the whole entire thing. Um, we can make this specific thing. If you're talking about a certain thing and you want to link to that site, you can just hover over it. I mean, you can just highlight it and then, you know, insert a link and you have settings to open the link in a new page, sorry, in a new tab and different things like that. So WordPress gives you all these cool things. Um, you can change this size to heading one you can do you know different sizes like that sorry i just deleted that let's not delete that okay and um you know you can just play around with it and obviously also you can include pictures in here by adding media we're going to go into that soon um but i want to go now now i want to show you something else okay so you're if you're going to be having a blog and you're going to have being and you're going to be having many many posts you're going to want to have um different basically you're going to want to have different categories okay um right now it's uncategorized our first category let's say if we're going to be a nature blog we're going to have a bunch of different categories so let's add our first category is going to be hiking so we're going to add new category now we're going to unclick un um uncategorized and we don't need to update yet but now we know that this is going to be when we're going to have a whole list of categories if people want to search just for hiking posts they'll just click on the category they'll see it on the website i'll show you how to do that soon now you can also um 
it's not so nice that we just have like a blog post. Maybe we maybe we want to have a nice little picture for that post. Um, so what I would do is is that you have something over here on the bottom called set featured image, and then you can choose an image that you want for your post. Okay, so this picture was already used on the front page. We may not want to use that again. So let's go back to Unsplash. And since this post is about hiking, we'll type in hiking. And um, let's find a nice picture for hiking over here. This one's pretty cool. Okay. And this one doesn't need to be big because it's not going to be a whole background. It's just going to be like a, you know, like a post title type picture. So let's download the small one. Okay. And now let's go back to our post. And now click on set featured image again. Let's upload this new picture that we just did. Remember, you can drag it in or select files. And we have a picture. We have set featured image. And we have our category set. Let's update it. Okay. Let's view the, let's view the post again. Okay. So now we have this picture, which we may want to take away because we don't really need that picture. That's just from the front page. It's nice. Um, we have this big, nice picture over here. You know that people will see you all you're talking about hiking okay cool we want to style it a little bit and then we have our nice blog post everything like that okay and you'll see that it's over here now we have a category called hiking and if we click on it we'll just have one post about hiking because we don't have many posts yet but this is how it all works you're seeing how it's all coming together okay so now let's go back to the front page for a second and now you see that we have this big picture over here now we have a nice picture on the front page and we have this nice big picture over here but it's a little big and it's taking up a lot of the room of the page maybe we don't need it so big so now let's see how we can start you know customizing our blog and customizing more of the front page so that it all looks a little bit more uniform so let's get out of this post we're now back in the dashboard we can go to appearance and customize okay and if you scroll down you have options over here to control your blog Okay, so blog entries, okay, blog entries is our, this is basically the blog entries, we're using a blog as the front page of our site. So the front page of our site, some of the stuff is going to be controlled by the blog entries, okay. So we don't need to touch this right now. Technically, we could do that. Yeah, that's not a good idea. Okay, and then we could try, we can play around with these layouts that they give us over here. Um, I don't like that layout. I just like the simple layout over here. We have our sidebar, which we'll talk about soon. We have that. We want to try to shrink this picture down a bit, though. Okay, and it says add overlay on image hover. You see, when I go like that, the picture becomes a little darker. If I take it off, there's no. But it's a nice little thing, you know, just so that it makes your website a little bit more interactive. Okay, and we have large image over here. If we click on thumbnail, okay, that's actually pretty nice. You know, we now have thumbnail. We have our little, um, let's let's just publish that. Okay, and now let's go back to the front page. That looks a lot nicer. Okay, it's a little bit, it's a little nicer. Uh, you have your picture. It doesn't need to be gigantic. You have your hiking um, post over here. People can click on the picture to get to the post, or they can click on that. That's going to be for the category. They can click on that, things like that. Okay, so that's actually really nice um, let's see what else we can also change this image position if we want to have the text on the right or the left like that and we can change the vertical position to top bottom I like the center because it matches up with the text nicely you can also if you want to have a certain custom image width, you can do like that and again now it says over here you can charge you can start you know changing the colors around this color is hiking it's blue we're not going to get into colors yet so much. And here is something also important. We want to know how much of the post do you want your reader to see on the front page, right? You don't want them to see all of the posts because that doesn't make any sense, you know what I'm saying? Because that's just a lot of words. So that 30, basically 30 words of the post is nice, right? That's nice. Uh, let's, you know, let's bring it up a tiny bit to 40, 42 words. Let's see. Yeah, that's also cool. Okay. 
and and uh, and that is basically customizing this this uh, what's it called this you know how your post will show up on the front page how your blog entries show up on the front page okay so let's publish that okay now I want to go back to how our single post will look okay our single post is this is this post over here right we just talked about the blog entries let's refresh let's see what we did okay we made the picture of that now I want to see what our single post this is our single post this is this is our actual post so let's see what is going on with this post right so on the front page we have something called a sidebar let's go back for a second I'm sorry there's something called a sidebar over here which you can change the these are different widgets okay a widget is like a certain functionality um, that WordPress will give you so for example you know we'll have once you have a bunch of posts you'll have more posts under recent posts you can post comments you can show the comments that are having um, you can add a Google ad over here on the side you can add a picture you can add a video you can add a small about me section I'll show you how to edit the sidebar soon um, I like it on the front page but maybe when we're actually an, on our post page I don't know if people really need to see that. We want them to kind of really focus more on the blog. You know what I'm saying? They don't really want to know about our recent posts over here. They can go back to the front page for that. Um, we can customize that. So let's see what we want. So on the single post, we have a layout. Let's go to our single post over here. Let's just click on it so we can actually see it. Okay. See, it shows like a layout. You have a sidebar over there, right? Right sidebar left sidebar full width let's go to full width okay publish it again now if I click on it no more sidebar okay and I just have this gigantic picture and a guide to hiking and that's nice the picture is still a little too big so let's see what we could do over here okay we may not want this uh, featured image. Really want to see something over here for a second. So this image is is really big, and it's kind of not really like what I want. The truth is, I mean, it, I kind of do want it. It's just a little big. I'm not. I have to figure out. I'm always like get like so confused again. Even though I haven't. I mean, I'm. I'm I do run a blog with this uh, thing, but like. This picture is huge. Um, let's uh, what's it called? Let's um, let's see over here what's going on over here for one second, guys. So, first of all, if I wanted to take away the featured image, I can actually X that out. Elements positioning, and there'll be no more featured image, which is kind of nice. And what we can do is is we can actually do featured image in page header. So, meaning that, uh, so that's actually pretty cool. Meaning that what we what we have on our front page, right, is this picture, this bridge picture, and people see that picture, right? And now when they when they click on that, they see this picture from the front page, the bridge picture, and again they see this picture. But maybe we don't want this picture here because it's not really, you know, what I want right now. Like I'm saying they already saw that picture. It's not that important. If you want to add more pictures, you can add it in the text in between the paragraphs. So what we did is, is that we took away the picture by clicking on some of the elements. We deleted the element. Okay, we just unchecked it. And what we did is, is that we decided to um, put the featured image in the page header. Right? And again, we have the same thing over here where we can do a center center picture which is, that's nice, you see somebody like their feet over there hiking, and we can do a cover, let's see what auto does, default, no, same thing, and contain, oh, you can see a little more of the picture, but this is, this is fine, let's just keep it as cover, okay, and we can actually shrink that down a little bit, so it doesn't need to be so big on our page, and the overlay could be a little bit less, too, and let's publish that for a second over here. Let's publish it. Now let's look what our page looks like. 
much nicer, okay? We now have our uh, blog page, right? So we're gonna change this around also as well. But so basically, let's just look how it works. So we have our front page over here again. Somebody clicks on, ooh, a guide to hiking. They open it up. They see a nice picture that you chose as your featured image because they don't need to see it again huge. And then we, we want them to read. We, we want them to get to the text. So we have this. We don't have a sidebar anymore. We're going to have more stuff down here eventually. Okay, so that's like pretty awesome. Okay, now let's figure out how to get rid of this, um, this stuff over here. Okay, uh, what you could do is is um let's uh let's get through there for a second first of all so over here you also have um what's it called your all these position all these elements over here you can uh you can see what you want to have right let's say so you see over here okay so first it goes like this is how the order works okay you have your title which is this okay it's showing you how the page is set up you have your meta which is the information who the author is the data was posted, the category that it's in, and the and you have comments. If you want to edit the meta, oh, well, now we took away the meta. I don't want to take away the meta, but if you want to see what the, if you want to take away certain parts of the meta, let's say you don't really care how many comments there are because there's no comments yet, so you can take away that. Um, and it's good to leave a date. People want to know when you wrote it. And category is okay, and the, and, the, and the author is nice also. So that's nice to do that. Um, and that's basically how you're, and then it shows over here, like, you know, again, so you have the meta, and then we have the content, which is the body. And then you have tags, which we didn't put any tags, there would be tags here at the bottom if we did. Social share, we don't have any social share yet. Next previous links, we don't have any next previous links because we do not have any other blog posts. And then we have an author box, which is basically, uh, that's something else that we can discuss later, related to posts, and then comments, and you can leave a comment. And that's basically how our page is set up okay but I want to now figure out how to get rid of this stuff okay so I forgot let's see how we can do that that I think is somewhere else let me go back to over here general options Uh, so this is the um, this is the center. So that's the basically the title breadcrumb position. Okay, I don't think you can actually change it from inside the customizer. Oh, actually, you can. And you can actually enable the breadcrumbs, which is the breadcrumbs is how you got to this page. Basically, your home hiking category and then a guide to hiking. You don't really need that. It's not really that nice. Um, so you just enable the breadcrumbs and take it away. You can also take away the blog. Actually, you know, the blog, see, that's something different. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to remove that now. Um, and we are going to do that in a second. Okay, so let's publish that. Okay, so now we're back in our blog page. And we have, it says blog, right? Which is, I don't really want that there. We know it's a blog. It just looks weird. Um, so let's figure out how to do that. So I think what we need to do is we need to go back to our dashboard. And this popped up at the beginning. It says, this theme recommends the following plugin, which is called Ocean Extra, okay? So sometimes when you'll download a certain theme, they have plugins that they make as well to interact with their theme. Um, and for, for example, in this theme, Ocean WP, we have something called Ocean Extra. So we are going to begin installing plugin. We don't, have, we don't even have to go to the plugin page to find it. We can just go install right here, okay? Let's install it. It's installing. Installing the plugin. And it successfully installed the plugin Ocean Extra. Blah, 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 right? So now what does that do for us exactly? Let's go back to our posts. Ocean Extra gives us a little bit more um, options over here. Okay? So now, before, if we scroll down, just end it over here. But now we have something called over here called Ocean WP Settings, where it gives you a little bit more control Um over certain things on your page. So for example, let's go to page title. 
right? We would like to disable the page title. Okay, so now what happens if I disable the page title? Let's see what happens. So now it takes away that that picture. Okay, so we need to figure out so we can have that, which is which is which is okay. But I don't want to what's it called? I don't want to uh, take that away. So now I'm a little bit confused because like if you take away that, if you take away that, then we're missing that whole thing that we wanted to do. Um, so we can actually customize this title over here. Let's see. This is actually interesting, but I think I did this somewhere else. Okay, let's see. Custom title. Let's call it. Um, uh, a guide to hiking, which is basically the thing over there. Let's see if it went back. Yeah, a guide to hiking. So you can change that. Basically, you can change whatever your text that you want there to be. You can leave it as blog. Okay, you can also totally remove it and then just keep the picture like it was before down over here. It's all up to your style and preference, you know, of how you want your page to look. But basically, this Ocean WP thing gave us a lot more um, options. It will give us, you know, certain things, uh, footer. You can do some more stuff in your post. You don't need every to do everything here. A lot of this stuff is also in the customizer. Um, and, uh, you know, we already disabled the top bar in the customizer, remember? Um, and uh, so we don't really need it anymore. Hold on one second. Yeah, we don't we don't we don't really need that 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 anymore. Okay, sorry, I'm just like getting a little bit off the tangent over here. So we have that. I want to just play around with something for a minute over here because I'm a little bit confused because I remember that I was able to do let's go back to the customizer for a second. And I want to go to our blog. I want to go to our single post. Okay, let's take away the featured image in the page header. Okay. Whoa. There's a crazy storm outside. Um, featured image. I want it back on. And now I got kicked all the way to the bottom. So let's bring it back up. Okay. And I don't want the page title. How did I get rid of that page title, man? I'm so confused. Oh, I remember. Okay, so let's publish that. Right? Okay. Now, if I went back to the post, sorry, and I disabled the page title, right? So we disabled the page title over there. Let's view the post again. Sorry. Okay. So now that's good. That's how I want it to be now. I want just my header. We're going to add a menu. Sorry, and then we're going to do a, we have this page title, we have this big, nice picture, and we have that. So you can do both ways. You can do, you know, you could have this picture as the page title instead. Now, the question is that this picture is huge, man. Like, why does it have to be so big? You know what I'm saying? So let's try to figure that out because I am not happy about that. must be a, um, a way to uh, to shrink that picture and I'm gonna find that right now because I am not into this man see this is like just about WordPress like I know you're watching me do stuff right now which is a little annoying um, but sometimes this is like how you gotta do certain things you just like have to figure it out you know General settings. That's the pages, post types, custom sidebar. Not what I'm looking for, man. Page title. See, like now I'm like, just like, what? Like, why is this such, like, why is it so hard to figure out? You know, like they, sometimes like things are like super easy. And then sometimes like things are like super hard. You know what? Change feature. See, this is also part of the change featured image size 
Ocean WP. See, any question you have is always on Google. I'm trying to change the size of the featured image of the page with the blog post. How can this be done? Hello, add the code below to your customized custom image to change the size. Edit the code as per your need. So that's really cool. So you see, part of learning WordPress is 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 always searching on Google, um, is uh, looking things up, and uh, what's called and somebody probably will have already asked the question that you want, right? So Ocean WP did not build in a feature uh, to change the featured image size, which is a little annoying, but this guy went on the Ocean WP forum, which is on the wordpress.org site, and he asked a question and he gave code. So now, whoa, this is a storm. So now where do you put this code exactly? Okay, so again, inside your customizer, you have something called custom CSS JS and CSS code is basically I'm not gonna get into it all now but CSS code is basically how you style your HTML code and in the back end of WordPress is a bunch of HTML and CSS and we all we need to do to do this is basically let's copy that put it inside the customizer in the custom CSS JS and now in he moved it down to 70%. You see over here, he you can change the code yourself. You can do 30%. That's a tiny little picture. That's tiny though. Let's do 90. I don't want 90. I like 70. 70 is nice. Now if I publish that, I go back. It's also, uh, it's still a little big. Let's bring it down to 50%. Publish. And again, boom. So now it's much nicer. A reader comes onto your page they don't see this gigantic picture again you know what i'm saying so you can do both ways like i said you can have the picture in the page title like we did before or you can just you know have the picture like this and use that code that we did there i'm wondering if they this was from two years ago so i'm wondering if uh they um if they made any other changes or anything like that but Wow, it is really stormy out there. So that is basically how we set up our blog page. Okay. And now I want to show you how, let's see, let's see, let's see something else. Okay. So now we have our front page over here. Okay. Um, and let's start playing around at the top over here okay because it's not so nice it's white and this is not such a nice name for the website um so let's start playing around with this area as well okay we're going to do more down here but let's start playing around with this area so let's go back to the customizer whoa wow okay and now we have our site title over here overview 23 Let's change the site title to call it the hiking blog, right? So now we have the hiking blog up there, much nicer than before. Hiking blog, really cool. Okay, now what we also have something in our header, we also have logos. So we're going to make a logo soon and I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, there's also something over here in site, in site in site identity, which is called the site icon. What is this site icon? If you look at, um, you know, when you're on Google, doing like that, let's go on uh, Gmail for a second. You got your little mailbox. If you go on Twitter, you got your little bird. You know, you got that little thing up over there. Okay? Uh, on Unsplash, they have a title. Lorem Ipsum's got that L. And WordPress has this W thing which is not really so nice, you know, it's a little bit like, you know, let's try to find something. So there's a website called iconfinder.com, which is really awesome. And it says search for unicorns. Let's search for nature. Okay, this is just little style stuff. Now, some of these are not free. Um, we want to just choose free. Cool little tree right there. Let's download it in PNG. Okay, now I went back to the customizer. And I press select site icon, upload files, 
drag it in, select, and it's going to want you to um, crop it to where you want it to be cropped. I like the whole picture, it's nice. Um, this would be, this is how it would look as an app icon. You see how it's going to look on your browser. Crop image. Now, if you publish that and you went back to your site and you did that, you see up over here now on the top of your screen, you have a little tree in your um, tab, which is nice. It's a little bit, just a little bit more professional, a little bit nicer. Okay, now let's do something else. Um, now I want to talk about, let's add like two pages here so that we can have something in our menu so that we can learn how to do menus. And then we're going to learn how to use a page builder to edit those pages. Okay, we're going to show you how to do all this stuff. And then we'll get into a logo also as well. Maybe we'll get into a little bit of a logo. Okay. Um, so let's go to customizer. Let's get out of the customizer. Let's go to our pages, which we have not looked at before. Okay. WordPress gives you two pages already, privacy policy and sample page. Let's just trash those. We don't need those. Okay. Let's add a new page and let's call this page the about page. Okay. Um, and again, we're not going to, we're just going to publish it for right now. Okay. Let's add another page and we're going to call that contact. We're not going to add any content yet. I just want to show you how to really just use like the menu and then we'll see if we're going to have time today, uh, in the rest of this video to do that or it'll be in the next video. So let's press, uh, contact publish. Okay. So now if I go back on my website, I don't see those pages up there. Okay. I want to see these pages up here. So how do I do that? I go to appearance. Okay. So, so far we did the themes, customize. We did some widgets. We didn't really do widgets yet, but we have something here called menu. Okay. And I want to create my first menu. All right. Many themes already. And if you eventually you'll see with templates, they'll already come with pre-installed pages and things like that, but we're using a practice site. So it didn't do anything for us. Um, menu name, let's just call it the main menu. Okay. And we want to show where is it going to be in the display location? Is it going to be in the top bar? Is it going to be in the main footer mobile? Let's put it for now in the main, let's create the menu. Okay. And now it's going to show us which pages we can add to the menu. Let's add to menu both of those. And I don't want my contact page to be before my about page in the order. I want it to be about first and then contact. Save menu. Okay. Now if I go back to here, boom, you see top right over here, I now have a menu. I have my hiking blog, which is the name of the site. I have about and I have contact and I also have a search um, magnifying glass. Okay. Now. We can play around with the font and the colors over here and the background color of this situation and all that stuff. Um, we are going to do that um, in a few minutes after this break. So we just put the menu um, up on top over there. And, uh, you know, I want to show you guys now how to customize some of the text. Uh, play around with fonts, sizes, colors, and all that type of stuff. So what we do is we go back to our WordPress. The We go to the dashboard and we go to appearance. Again, inside the customizer. Okay. So we have our menu over here, but that's not where you style it. We would like to go to menu. Okay. So here in the menu, we're in the, we are in our header, like we spoke about before. Um, we are in the menu now. Um, so now we can put our menu to the left, which is right next to the name. We could put it in the center. We could put it to the right. It depends also, I'm saying that all depends on what style you're looking for, for your menu. Um, this is just a, uh, you know, a, a very simple theme. There's other themes that let you build your own menus with certain things, but we're just doing really, really basic stuff right now. Um, so if you have like a lot of, you know, a lot of different pages, you're going to probably want to have some drop downs, 
uh, because you're not going to have enough room on the menu up here for everything. Um, and then you also have, have over here, you have link effects. So you can do some stuff like, uh, let's say, circular reveal. You can, you know, you can add some stuff. Look at the menu. You see, like, you can add some little, you know, cool little interactive things to make your site a little cooler. Um, I like the color. The hovering color is a little not so exciting. You see, when I hover it, it turns blue. So let's see what we can do over here. So first of all, we can change the color of the link effect. It's gray. It's not so bad. Okay, so the link color right now is this color. Let's make the link, see if I make it white, you're not gonna be able to see it. If I make it purple, it's kinda cool. You know, you can just play around with the colors anywhere you want. Let's just leave it as black, okay? It's black, and then when we hover over it, let's click on that. So that's the link color. That's the color of the link. Okay, and, when we and then you have link color hover over here. Um, the blue kind of doesn't really match our thing, maybe like a darkish green, let's say. I don't know. You don't really need it. Like have a hover. It's just nice to have it. Could change a little bit. Let's do a yellow. Let's see. Something like that might be cool. Okay, whatever. Something like that. You know, kind of matches like the nature uh, type theme. Um, we do want to make this text a little bigger, also as well. Um, see here, you have your drop down styling. If we would make a drop down menu on one of these with more pages in there. Everything like that, and you can control everything. So it's really, you know, really, really, um, you just like, like what I said before, you know, I'm not going to be able to go through everything. It's part of building websites and learning WordPress is exploring all the different options that you have. Okay, now um, I would like to show you how we, uh, so let's first publish that. And now let's go to about, okay. So we have those changes in there, and we have the magnifying glass as well. So like when you open up the magnifying glass, we can change that blue line also in the same options over there. Um, now let's talk about fonts and typography. So you have an option over here in your customizer called typography. Okay, and typography is basically all the different fonts that are on your site, um, the main menu font. So let's go to the main, men the main menu font over here. So first of all, let's change the font size to about 16. Okay, see, now it's bigger. It's nice. So most themes will have um, a place where you can control the font size. Not every theme. There are some things that, that, I actually had to, that I actually had to put in code. There are some themes that I, that, I, that I was using where you couldn't even change the menu size, which is like weird, you know. So newer themes obviously, you know, have more options and more popular themes have more options. But... That's why we like to stick with themes that people are using, like Ocean WP and Astra and other themes. Um, but everything can be changed, obviously, with code that you can find on the internet, probably in the forum for the theme, you know, in the support forum on WordPress website and all that. Um, I I would change the font a little bit. I mean, nothing crazy. Okay, let's just like we can go through all these different fonts and we can do something like that, you know. Um, simple font is Laura. But that's not really also what I'm looking for. Maybe Lato. Let's check Lato. Lato is a simple font. Okay, it's nice. Probably was the font before. Doesn't really seem so much different, but it's nice. Okay. Um, and then, so that's that. We can change the heading. Let's see what happens in general. General is no. General is disable Google fonts. Google fonts are like special fonts that we saw before. Um, we don't want to disable them. We want them. Okay. Uh, body so your body is let's say let's go to our body over here so our font over here is this this is the body of our posts let's change that to let's change that to Lato as well we like to have the fonts match up as well you see it just changed over there and the font is quite small so let's make it 18 uh, let's do 16 over there as well okay um, we can bold it with the weight, you know, that's really light. Uh, let's just do default for that. Let's publish it. And now if we went to our post, you see that the font got a little bigger and everything like that, which is cool, simple, right? Now, so basically you got to go through all these different options over here. You know, your headings, uh, all headings, 
we can change the font style. So this is considered a heading, I think, for the blog and everything like that. Let's make all the headings Abril Fat Face. And that changed it to that and also it changed there and it changed everything over there. So let's just leave it at that because why not? Like, you know, we're not really keeping the site or anything like that, but we are doing that. You see it will change now in your post page. I would like to change the area up here a bit. Okay, let's see how we do that. So again, this is the font. You can have different fonts for your mobile menu. Uh, your, you can you can do a lot of stuff. You can, you know, instead of having all the headings as one thing, you can change your blog entry title, which would be this to a certain font, your blog post title, your sidebar widget headings, which we just changed everything. Everything can be changed, okay? Everything can be changed, and you just have to go through it. Like your footer copyright, which is over here, right? Copyright 2021, Ocean WP, you can edit that as well. Uh, that is footer bottom. So you can change the text over here if you want to write like, you know, uh, site by Michael Smith. And we can, uh, we would change the colors so that people would be able to see it as well. See, now people are going to be able to see that. Let's check that out. Go down to the bottom, copyright site by Michael Smith. My name is not Michael Smith, but that's just the name that I gave. Um, and here is the footer. We're going to discuss the footer in a few minutes. Now let's go back out. So that is all that. Okay, so header general. Okay, so we have this header over here, which is the minimal header. Let's what happens if I click transparent? So transparent header is when you don't have like a background color on the header. So basically the header text and everything will be falling onto your picture, which is also kind of nice. You need to change the text color, obviously. Um, some people like the, tr the transparent header. Some people like having a header with, um, you know, a minimal, this is a minimal size header with, a, with like a background color. It depends on what you're looking for. And if you would do the, tr the transparent header, you would want to take away the header border bottom so that it wouldn't look weird. You know what I'm saying? So you could have the hiking blog and then your menu over there, but you would change the color so that obviously it would be seen. It's a nice style. It's pretty cool, but let's keep it today at minimal. And the height of the header is we increase it, goes bigger. So we don't want such a big one, depending on what style you want. Let's make our header even smaller. Let's make it the 70. Okay. And the background color is going to be, let's make it um, maybe green, like a lightish type of, you know, we're having like a nature style blog. So like maybe something like, yeah, I don't know, something like that, whatever I'm saying. It depends on what your colors you want to do. You know what I'm saying? So everything can be controlled. See, if I had this color, I'd probably change the color of that and the header and things like that. But I'm just showing you like what, you know, what you could do, okay? For now, I think we're going to leave it as, if I make it black, so I would make the text all white, that actually might be look nice. But let's leave it a little bit. Let's just do, what about orange? That's not bad, actually. All right. Um, so that's how you change the background color of your header and stuff like that. Um, and if you have the border bottom, let's say we wanted to have the border bottom. So you see it's white over there. I would change that to maybe black or something, or maybe a white border or a purple border. And you can do whatever you want. I'm saying that's really what is cool about you know WordPress. You're not doing code on this stuff. You're just playing around with options. It's fun. Okay, let's publish that. Let's go look about what it looks like now. So you, okay, so the bottom, the border bottom doesn't look that great, but whatever, it's coming together. Um, now, so we have that, and now let us talk about the sidebar over here, okay? So where is the sidebar? Sidebar is over here. Okay, so sidebar is you can change the background color of your sidebar actually but that doesn't really look like nice you know because it's like weird because it's not like the whole entire thing so i would just leave it as white there are probably ways to style the whole sidebar to fill up the whole area but let's just leave it as white um and we have our widgets over here so these are our widgets and what we can do over here in the widgets is let's go to our widgets okay and in our default sidebar 
okay? It gives us what we have over here, okay? We have recent posts. So well, first of all, we have search. You can put something over here. Maybe we can write uh, search for something, right? So somebody came onto your site, they would see a placeholder text in the search bar and they would search it. So that's kind of cute also. Um, and uh, we have our recent posts. So we only have one post, so it'll just be a guide to hiking. And you could put recent comments. Okay, so this is the Gutenberg controller. They they do like remember how I mentioned before that in the when you're writing a blog post, you can go back to, to the to the um, to the classic editor. Um, you can also go back to the classic editor for the sidebar widgets, but it's not so bad to use the good the the new page builder thing from WordPress. Um, so we can, you know, learn how to use that a little bit at least. So let's take away this recent comment thing. See, now we have this whole, we clicked on the whole thing. Let's remove a block. Basically, these are all blocks. Let's remove that. Now we only have search, recent posts, okay? Now if you click over this plus sign, we can add a block. And we have all these things that we can add. Okay, we can add a photo gallery here. We can add some text if you want to do a little quick about you on the side, um, you know, phone number, email, whatever, any information you want. You can add another image on the side. You can add a quote. And if you browse all, you'll see that Gutenberg gives you tons of blocks. Okay, you can put a table there if you have, a, you know, a little table of prices, I don't know, something. Um, you can drop a file there, people. You can do, a, a, you know, you can do a video. You can put buttons, you can put short codes for other types of things, you can put custom HTML. Uh, for example, if you're, um, you know, putting in a Google ad and you want to put some HTML there, then you would do that. Let's add a calendar. Now we have a calendar, which is kind of cool. I mean, let's say you had a site, you know, where you had, up, you know, you had upcoming dates or something like that. So you can, you know, do that with the calendar. Okay. And now let's add another block. Let's go to here, and I would, let's say, I want to add something to maybe our social icons, or you can do an About Me, or a Facebook Like box, you know, like us on Facebook, you know, so it looks like your Facebook URL is uh, not configured, so you would have to put a Facebook URL, but basically you can play around with the sidebar, and you can add things that you think are worthwhile for your people who are going to be on your site to see. So you, you don't want to fill it up with too much stuff. You know what I'm saying? Everybody likes to build and they're like, oh, let's do this and do that. But like, it's good to keep things minimal. It's good to keep things like what people actually want to see and not like, you know, put too much stuff. Okay. So let's take away. Okay. So let's publish that. And if we went on again over here, now we would see our changes. We have a calendar and we have this Facebook thing, which is not really working because we don't have that. Um, and, and if you went to the actual blog post, again, we don't have that sidebar because we took away the sidebar. The blog post is going to be a full width. The main page is going to be just have a sidebar. And you can put the sidebar on the left like I showed you before and things like that. Okay, so that's basics of the whole entire Ocean WP theme. Now, I want to show you about the footer down here. And then... In the next video, we're going to learn about building pages. So, for example, we have this about page here, and there is nothing on it. Okay, and the really building pages, we're going to be starting to use a page builder called Elementor. So I'm going to wait for the next video to show you how to build pages with the Astra theme um, with Elementor. But it could also be done on Ocean WP, obviously. But I don't want to like you know learn about Elementor quickly. I want to really go through it in the next video. So. We're just going to finish off this video with, um, what are we finishing off with this video? We're going to finish off this video with the footer. So let's go now. And in our widgets, okay, we have, first of all, let's go back to, okay. We have our footer widgets over here, okay? So it says enable footer widgets. So first of all, let's say you don't want a footer. You can just take that part away, things like that. Hold on one second. I got to take this phone call here. Hello? Hello. All right, sorry. I don't know, there's been this number calling me for a while and nobody talks, so I don't know what the deal with that is. Maybe it's like a stalker or something or some weirdo. But anyway, 
Um, if you don't want footer widgets, which is also an option, you know, if you put your information on the side, you know, so um, let's just go back, sorry, to the hiking blog. So now you would just have your site down there like that. You know, a lot of sites like, um, let's just type like a law firm or something. I don't know, law firm, okay? Let's look for a law firm. Just, I don't know, I'm assuming that they're going to probably have a decent site. Okay, this is an Israeli site. You see in there, whatever, you guys aren't reading this language. I live in Israel, but, uh, oh wow, they're in Tzfat. They're in my city. Did not know that. Anyway, point is, is that you have a footer over here with, you know, his, you know, you're, you're not reading the Hebrew, but I am, um, with his opening hours and his address and things like that. So you could do that also as well, but if you're a blog, you don't really have opening hours, you can put some more of your contact information in on the site. But if you did want to put some footer widgets in, so let's look what you would do. Um, you, Of course, you can change the background color and let's change the text color to white. Even though we don't have any text in there yet, but we're going to put some text in. Um, you don't want to make the background, so your footer, you want to kind of also make it that it's distinctive from the rest of your site. And it, meaning that if I would make the footer background here over here white, so people would just think like, oh, it's just continue on, a, a continuation of your site. But it's very important for, you know, uh, people to know that this is a footer or for Google or for search engines or for everything. It's important to make distinctions and different things. So you want to actually have the footer code in there. And it will, you know, all these things will pick up in the code that this is the footer. Okay. And now we can go back to our widgets and we have four options. Oh, one second. Let's go back over there for footer widgets. It says, how many columns do you want in your thing? So I'm going to do just three columns, even though we don't have that because we don't need four sections in there. Okay. Let's go back now to our widgets. So now it changed from having four options to two, just three options. Okay, we have our sidebar widgets, which was this, and we have our footer one. Okay, and it's empty. So let's add something into our footer. Maybe you have a YouTube video um, that you, you can embed a YouTube video. Okay, so let's go on YouTube for a second. And let's say you had a video from your channel or something like that. Uh, where are we going to do? Let's do Severance, Apple TV. Okay, so we would just take this link and we would go to here. We would embed it. Now all of a sudden, and now in your footer, you have a video, right? And you can probably write on it like, hey, check out my latest blog, uh, vlog. <laughs> you know, so you can bold it. And there's ways to, you know, change all those designs and, you know, and text like that, which we'll see. Okay, so that's our footer one widget. Okay, and then let's say in our footer two, which will be in the middle over here, we can add a paragraph. And in the paragraph, we would write, it just type to choose a block, we would write, hey, you know, or you could just write contact. Hey, what the heck? I did a paragraph. Contact info. Um, email me at da -da 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 -da. call me at da -da -da -da. So you see, and then afterwards you would go in and you would style it and you know figure it out. And that's basically basically how you would build a footer. Okay, you can add anything you want on your footer again. And then and so we're just gonna leave it like that because I don't want to go too in depth like you know with everything i also want you know people who are in my class and also people who are watching this video just to also you know it's good to figure out things on your own how to play around with it and everything like that now if we also went to our site now okay so people today also one of the most important things about building websites is also making it um making the site look good on a phone a lot of people are also using iPads, and a lot of people are also using phones. Many, many people are using phones for 
uh, surfing the web, surfing the web. I haven't said that word in like a million years, but you know, checking things out, or if they're outside and they're looking up, a, looking up a restaurant, or an or an attraction, or a hotel, or a or a bed and breakfast, or a hiking trail, or anything like that, they're going to be looking on their phones. They're not going to be at home. So it's always important that your phone, that, that your site, is very very mobile friendly. So WordPress and the customizer gives you um, three options to see how your website looks right now we're on desktop if you look down over here at the bottom of the customizer if you click on this this is a tablet so you would probably so the tablets also it's not so bad you know your your sidebar is not going to be on the side because there is no screen front on the side um it's going to be full width this is going to be your footer so it doesn't look bad there's 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 ways to go into each uh thing and 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 uh let's say let's go into for example where are we general options page title So for some, um, let's say for example over here, so we see that we can control the padding over here. Let's see. We can make this bigger by adding some padding, okay? 90, 90. If we wanted the same type of thing, we can play around with the padding. And if it was a phone, see the next option is your cell phone. So that's not bad. It, pushes it it all it 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 really looks pretty decent these blue things are not going to be on your website these are just like the editing buttons if you wanted to edit that part in the customizer most themes today are built so that whatever you put in them will look pretty good on a phone because they know that everybody's using phones today so that's just something that you would go through and especially when we start learning elementary you, you can control every element um, to do that okay so that's going to be the end of this first video i hope that you learned something um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I will try to answer all the different questions. All right, and then in the next video, which hopefully will be up in the next few days, we will be learning, we will start a new site with our local by Flywheel, a new fresh WordPress installation, and we're going to install an, a new theme, and we're going to learn how to import a template and uh, build out a website with um, Elementor free version, and we're going to learn other things also as well. All right, thank you for watching.